there are so many acids out there that it can be tough choosing which one you should be using on your skin. Well, rest assured that even if you chose the wrong one, it will still most likely help you with your issues. Because really, acids all perform the same task, which is dissolving the bonds that hold the dead skin to your face. I want to mention something here regarding the Fitzpatrick skin typing before we get started. This is in regards to what color skin you have, how you burn or freckle in the sun, etc. If you have type 4, 5, or 6, these are the medium to darker skin types, then you will almost always want to prepare your skin with a melanin inhibitor, like our Fade Bright, before applying a higher percentage or a stronger acid. And if you're unsure, always err on the side of caution. A melanin inhibitor should be applied for at least two weeks prior to any peel. This will help to dramatically lessen the chances that you could get post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation after a peel. If you want to learn more about preparing your skin for a chemical peel, see this video here for guidance because you'll definitely want to start using retinol or an acid serum daily to thin the layers of skin before you apply your peel for the very best result. And if you have the darker skin, watch this video on darker skin and TCA. Now here's a key note. When I make recommendations on how often to perform these peels, always take that with a grain of salt. If you're more sensitive, you will do a peel less often. And don't ever worry about remembering this. All recommendations are listed right here in your peel manual. Also, if I say one time per week and you're still flaking at that seven day mark, you will need to extend your start time. Always make sure your skin is 100% done flaking before you start with a new peel, okay? Great. Now, let's find out which acid is best for your issues. I want to start with the milder acids and work my way up in intensity and performance. So. Let's begin with the lactic. Lactic is considered a very superficial peel. That means that it will only penetrate into the uppermost layers of the stratum corneum. We consider this a level zero peel. It has a very big molecule. And since it doesn't penetrate very deep, it isn't as irritating as the other acids can be. Our 50% is a great starter peel. If you have dry or sensitive skin, you'll want to start here. Even though it doesn't penetrate deep, it's still beneficial for pigmentation on the skin and fine lines. And if you're one of those that's dealing with acne, yet has super dry skin, this acid can be for you too. It also has a special feature of being hygroscopic. That means that lactic can actually pull moisture to your skin to hydrate it. Now this is more beneficial with a leave-on product, but it is still helpful in the long run when doing peels. This is a peel that you can do on a weekly basis. A series of eight is a good starting point, but you'll probably find yourself applying this for many months at a time due to the ease of usage. Just stop when your skin looks great and then restart again when you want to do another series. You won't see much of anything in the way of flaking, so this is super for those that have jobs where any downtime needs to be minimized, but they still want to have healthy, clear, beautiful skin. The next acid I want to talk about is our mandelic peel. This is considered a superficial peel or a level one. It can penetrate down to the stratum spinosum. Don't worry, <laughs> this isn't deep but it is a bit deeper than the lactic acid can travel. The absolute beauty of this acid is that it really isn't that irritating at all. People love how easy it is to apply and how low the irritation is. Remember, there's no need to be in pain to get results. The most common description is just a tingling or a very mild irritation. Now we have two percentages available. 
And as with any acid, if you are unsure, always start with a milder percentage and work your way up. Mandelic 22%, which is right here, can work well for those that have sensitive skin, and this includes teens and tweens, as well as anyone with rosé shock. Apply at least one full peel series of six to eight peels before you jump up to the 40%. For tweens, a one-time application every two weeks works well. For adults, one time per week is good. So if you're an adult, have problematic acne, or have performed other peels in the past, you can definitely start with a 40%. You shouldn't have any problems at all. If you have rosacea though, always stay with the 22%. As you can maybe guess, this acid is excellent for acne, and that's why I mentioned the younger crowd. It has antibacterial properties to fight pimples and will help to keep the follicles clear. It's also excellent for those dealing with melasma, hyperpigmentation, PIH, which was that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and darker skin types, and fine lines. This will give you tiny little baby flakes, not super obtrusive in any way. What a super acid. This is one of my very favorites and one of the most common peels we suggest for those calling in for help on just about any issue. The next acid I want to talk about is glycolic. This is a super common acid and the one that got the whole lunchtime peel craze started years ago. It's water soluble and good for any skin type. It's still considered a superficial peel like the mandelic, but it can penetrate a bit deeper due to its super tiny molecular size. This can make it a bit more irritating, though it's not bad, tingling to a light stinging. Glycolic is a general acid, meaning that you can apply this for generally anything. Most people find it's great for minimizing those fine lines and evening out the skin's texture that can get rough over the years. Now this one comes in three percentages. As always, begin with the lowest percentage, which is our 30%. This is a really standard percentage that you're gonna find in many spas. The 30% can be applied one time per week. Push that back if you're sensitive and do a series of six to eight. Now, after your series, you can move up to the 50% if you would like to. A higher percentage will give you more flaking. Glycolic has tiny baby flakes that aren't really that bothersome at all. Now, we do have a 70% as well but this is reserved for body peels. The next acid I wanna mention is the only beta-hydroxy acid, and that is salicylic. Salicylic is oil soluble. That means that it is attracted to oils and can dig super deep into your pores until it finds it. Obviously, this is perfect if you have oily or congested skin. Another benefit to the acne prone crowd is that it's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. It's also excellent at reducing the little bumps and spots that are associated with acne. It too is considered a superficial peel, but it definitely has a higher irritation factor than any of the acids I have previously mentioned. This acid can definitely cause a hot peppers feeling when applied to the skin and it will also cause more larger flakes than the mandelic or the glycolic. This peel comes in three percentages. The first is our 3% mini peel. This is something that can be applied to a teen with problematic acne maybe one time per week. Some adults like to use it as a toner if they're dealing with very problematic acne. We suggest if you're doing it that way, leave it on for about five minutes and then rinse it off. And you can do that, you know, one to three times per week. This will cause very minimal, if any, flaking. Stop using it for a bit if your skin becomes too dry. Now the 15% is the place that we have most adults start with as a regular peel. So again, we're going to apply this a minimum of six times we suggest that you do an entire peel series with this before you even think about moving up to the 25%, which is our next percentage. There is a very large jump in irritation factor between the 15 and the 25. 
you will definitely get more peeling with this percentage. What I love about using the 25% is using it as a spot treatment on a pimple. Just take a, a Q-tip, get a little dab, pop it on your pimple, leave it on for a few minutes and rinse. That pimple will heal quickly and be gone in a couple of days. The next peel I want to talk about is actually a combination of three acids. It's an equal mixture of lactic, salicylic, and resorcinol. This is a Yesners. A traditional Yesners is a 14% mixture of each acid, and that's what we make here as well. For your reference, resorcinol is equal parts hydroquinone plus catechol. Now, Yes Nurse is the preferred peeling solution for those with oily, acne-prone skin. It can also be used on hyperpigmentation because of the hydroquinone, which equals out at about 7.5%, 7%. Many times it's used in conjunction with a TCA peel or a vitamin A peel. If you're performing a vitamin A peel, that's a few layers of your Yes Nurse followed by an application of our Luminosity 0.50% Retinol. Leave them both on for about four hours and then rinse. If you're wanting to apply Yesners plus TCA, the Yesners is generally applied first in one or two layers, specifically to prepare the skin for the TCA. Then you apply your TCA. Yesners is technically considered a superficial peel, but it will definitely cause more larger flakes than any of the singular acids we've talked about so far. The Yesners solution has the benefit of being applied in multiple layers. That can give you a deeper peel than the singularly applied hydroxy acids. This is something you want to think about when you're looking for more flaking than a salicylic acid peel can provide. Now, Yes Nurse would generally be applied in a series of six. We suggest your application being based on how many layers you're applying. So, if you only apply one layer, you can repeat this peel in about one or two weeks. If you apply two to three layers, you can do another peel in two to four weeks. If you're applying more than four layers, we recommend this no more than one time every one to two months. The last peel I want to talk about is my absolute favorite, TCA or trichloroacetic acid. TCA is good for everything and with the proper skin preparation, everyone can use it. This is really our preferred choice for aging skin, fine lines, pigmentation, scarring, and even problematic acne. The beauty of this acid is that it can penetrate deeper than the others I've mentioned so far, and that means it can fix more things too. We generally recommend you apply our TCA plus our Luminosity Vitamin A Booster for faster flaking and an intense uptake of Vitamin A. TCA is a medium depth peel. And that means it can reach through the epidermis and into the upper dermis called the papillary dermis if several layers or a higher percentage is applied. Now TCA gets its power by how it's applied, which is by coats or layers. Now, you can apply a small quantity of layers, say only one or two coats of a TCA 13 and end up with a lighter peel. At this point, you will probably see a white speckling of frost. This is generally what we recommend for most new TCA users. If you want to increase the depth of the peel in future peels, you can work your way up to three, four, and even five layers. The more layers you apply, the deeper the peel will penetrate into the layers of skin. And of course, the more benefits you will obtain. This is very helpful when you know that the pigmentation, scar, or lines you're trying to treat lie in the deeper levels of skin that can't be reached by a more superficial acid. With this depth, this means that there can be more larger flakes and that you'll need to plan some downtime into your treatment. So keep in mind that it will take between 9 and 11 days for your skin to be completely peeled. You'll have about three to four days before anything starts to come off, and then about six days or so of light to medium flaking. 
So work that into your calendar as you plan your peels. Now, our TCA comes in four strengths. Our first is the 7%, and this is very superficial and is recommended for the eye area or for those that have extremely sensitive skin, but require a little stronger acid than the hydroxy peels we already talked about. The 13%, this is our very most popular percentage. This is where we start everyone that wants to jump into using TCA. Always begin with only one or two layers and slowly work your way up to five over the course of months. Once you've been applying five layers for a good long time frame and want a deeper peel, you can move up to the 20% we have and you will begin again at only one or maybe possibly two layers. The 20% is where you're going to stay. Most people find that two to three layers is very strong and suits all of their needs well. When you're doing a stronger peel such as this, you will not be applying it as often. Most people will do a series of maybe one to two peels per month until they do their six to eight. After that, their skin is looking great and they can cut back to only one peel every two to three months just to keep things looking great. I want to mention our final percentage of 30%. This is not meant for the face, but rather for spot treating scars and body work. We suggest using the 30% for the TCA cross method that treats depressed scarring such as ice pick scars left behind from acne. If you're interested in that procedure, please see our tutorial video to learn how and watch a session. Now I want to leave you with a couple of key thoughts. Everyone is in a race to use the maximum percentage. What I want you to think about now is the idea that getting to the highest percentage is not something you want to do. This isn't a race you can win. There are only so many acids and so many percentages. And when you reach the top one, then what? The very best thing you can do is to use the lowest percentage of an acid that still gets you the benefits you're looking for. If your skin starts to get used to that acid, hey, I'm using salicylic and now I'm gonna switch to TCA or Jesner's. Switch back and forth for a while. Keep your skin guessing. Personally, I like to switch back and forth between my two absolute favorites, which are Mendelic and TCA. I usually just decide how much flaking I wanna deal with and pick that way. And also understand how the acid is applied. Hydroxy acids, which were the lactic, mandelic, glycolic, and salicylic, are only applied a single time to your face. Then they're timed and rinsed. You don't apply them again and again like a Yes Nurse or a TCA. Do that glycolic 30% peel several times before you think about jumping up to the 50. Peels are done in a series because it takes time to realize the end result. They are not a one and done. Likewise, you don't apply one layer of TCA 13 this time and then think you can jump to the 20% next time. You can apply an extra layer each peel you do if you wish to make it stronger. Keep this up until you're applying five layers religiously and want more. Then, and only then, can you move up to the next percentage. I hope that I was able to help you better understand the different acids and how they work. But as always, if you still have more questions, just reach out to us. We're here to help you. Have a great day.